So today I'm going to be showing you how to create a perfect natural daytime look with peachy pink shades great for spring and summer. Let's go back to the beginning and I'll show you how it's done. I've already moisturised my skin but before I apply my foundation I'm going to use a little bit of primer and I'm going to be using a Smashbox primer in the original formula. I like this one because it's very smoothing and it kind of gives a nice matte fine finish which is lovely for a moisturising foundation and it really adheres to the foundation and therefore my skin. For base I'm going to be using the Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream. This is a lovely lightweight, mid sort of between tinted moisturiser and foundation and you can really apply this very easily with your fingertips. And this gives a lovely base, it's good for cancelling out redness and any fatigue to the skin. So it's a good daytime light foundation. Make sure you always apply from the centre of your face. I like to sort of blob it in those centre points and then blend outwards. Because you want it to look as natural as possible towards the edge of your face, you don't have that horrible orange line around the edge. For concealer I'm going to be using a Maybelline concealer. This is the Anti-Age the Razor Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer. I'm going to be using this in a triangular shape under both my eyes down to about the cheekbone. Just fill that in. Also a little V between my eyebrows, just a little bit down the bridge of my nose, chin, cupid's bow and just a little bit either side of my nose. So then I'm going to blend that in. This gives you a very nice highlighting effect. That just covers any darkness that you might get under the eyes. Later we'll apply a little bit of powder to give that more contouring effect to the under the cheekbone area. Any blemish marks you could go back in with that same concealer. But for any spots that I feel need a little bit more help, I like to use the Clinique Anti-Blemish Concealer. This is a really great product as it's got an antibacterial ingredient which really helps dry out spots as well as conceal them. So I'm just going to apply this with my fingers. You could use a brush if you've got smaller pinpoint concealing needed. If you find you've got a couple of spots that don't really want to cover, you could use a little bit of powder first and then go back in with your concealer. The powder dries out the spot a little bit so it means that the concealer will apply a little bit easier. Next for brows. First of all I'm going to brush through my brows. I've got quite long eyebrow hairs so a good brush is essential to get a smooth polished finish even for a natural look. If you've got dark eyebrows like me you might not want to do any extra filling or any extra powder but I like to even out mine as I find that this one is my favourite and this one not so much. I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown powder in the shade Saddle. It's actually an eyeshadow but I find it's really good for brows and I'll be using my angled brush by MAC. When I do my brows, I like to do them one section at a time. This way I find that they're more even. So first I'm gonna go with my good brow and then go in with the brow that I don't like as much. This way I find I can copy the one that I've done on the one that I don't like as much. Little strokes so you don't overfill to make them too strong. Then I'll go back in with my brush just to make sure that the powder really blends in well with the hairs.
on to eyes. First I like to apply a primer. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Potion, which I find to be a really nice product to even out any discoloration of the eyelids, any veins, any redness. It means that the eyeshadow that I'm going to use on top will come out the right colour rather than being affected by the lid colour underneath. The eyeshadow that I'm going to be using is one from a palette I've created myself from MAC. These two champagne shades are ones I use a lot and I particularly like Grain, which is a nice satin finish for a natural look. I'm going to be using my NARS brush, which is really great for a wash of colour over the lid. It's got a lovely contoured sort of shape, which clings to the curve of the eyelids. Next I'm going to go back in with another champagne shade in the centre of the eyelid. I'm going to be using Naked Lunch, which is another one of my favourites. This one has a little bit of a frost finish, so it just gives a nice sheen to the middle of the eyelid. To give the eyes a little bit more definition, I'm going to be using a coal liner in a brown shade. I'm going to be using an Urban Decay pencil in the shade Hustle. If you hug the edge of the lash line as much as possible, this will be as natural as can be. Matter, it's not exactly perfect. We're going to smudge it out, soften it. To smudge out the eyeliner, I'm going to be using my Zoeva Smudger Brush. This is a really great brush as it's very flat and stiff so that it can give you really good control as you're smudging. wing out that colour a little bit and you see that's already made it a lot softer. Before I go in with mascara I'm just going to set the concealer under my eyes with a little bit of powder. I'm using a MAC fluffy brush which is actually for eyeshadow but I like to use it under the eyes as it's quite a good small shape. For mascara, first I like to use a primer as I find this conditions and lengthens my lashes. It means I don't have to use quite as much black mascara on top. I'm using a MAC Prep and Prime Mascara. I really like how this helps condition and set my eyelashes ready for the black mascara. While the primer and mascara is drying, I'm just going to go back in with some powder all over my face to set the foundation in place. I'm going to be using a Bare Minerals Loose Powder in the shade Fairly Light. I'll be using a Real Techniques buffing brush. Now for some black mascara. And at the moment I'm trialling a really lovely product. It's the Lancome Doll Eyes Mascara. I've used the Hypnose Mascaras quite a few times, but I've never used the Doll's Eye one. This is a really great mascara. Really lengthening. I find it doesn't clump at all despite being a fibre brush. And it's got a lovely small point at one end so that you can get into those smaller, finer lashes. And the good thing about having that primer mascara is you can kind of wiggle through with the black and you keep that nice long lengthened finish. I'm just going to apply a little bit underneath my eyelashes. On my lower lashes I'm going to add a waterproof layer in the form of the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. I find this really helps stop the transfer from the lashes to the skin below, as well as a little bit of powder. It has a sort of waterproof mascara effect, which I only really need on those bottom eyelashes. Back to face, I'm going to use a little bit of contouring powder with my MAC Mineralize Powder. This one is in the shade Medium Dark, which sounds too dark for a light skin, but is a really great shade for a soft contoured effect. And I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Powder Brush to do this. Starting from the hairline, just sort of about the temple, I'm going to do little circles, gradually building up underneath the cheekbone. This is a really great product because it doesn't layer on too much in one go especially if you use a big open fibre brush. 
a really nice colour that you can use to sort of fake a bit of tan, especially in summer now. Here's a little bit under my jaw, and a little bit down each side of my neck, just to continue that bronze look. Next for cheeks, I'm going to be using my MAC blusher in the shade Style, and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques contouring brush. I really love this peachy, fresh shade for summer. It gives a nice natural glow, especially because it's got that nice frost finish. It's a bit of a goldeny sheen. If you apply just to the tops of the cheeks, I think that looks really nice. Lastly for lips, I'm going to be using a lipstick by Dior in the shade Jet Set. It's a nice sheer lipstick, so I'm just going to dab on and pat in. So that's the finished look. I think this is a lovely natural glowing look, perfect for daytime, and those peachy pink shades are great for spring and summer. You could always swap things up with a little bit more eyeliner, a crease shade, or swapping the lip for a stronger one if you wanted to take this through to evening. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want some more videos. Take care. Bye.